What's cracking, guys? We're back again. The uh, last video you saw was um, a couple days. It was last Sunday. This is now Sunday, the 22nd. I just finally got the video out because it doesn't take that long. But um, I'm sure you've seen some, some things that weren't there before, so we'll get into that. But I wanted to make this video because... Um, I bought this on Amazon. It is a Coral's Coral Lens XL. So this is the new ones, the XL. We'll get into that. Uh, this is like $30 or, or less technically um, on Amazon. So I picked this guy up. But actually, if you go to CoralsCoral.com, it's the same price. Um, so if you want to buy it through them, do that. I didn't even know this existed until Amazon. Then I ended up on their site. Uh, because I didn't know it was going to be the, the XL version. And the biggest difference, I guess, between the XL version and this version is the XL version will fit over all three cameras. So it's a 52 millimeter lenses. And uh, this is the 15,000K and the 20,000K. And you can stack them to really get rid of this blue uh, for the most part. And it does go over. Uh, but I have a OnePlus 7 Pro. But it has about the same camera uh, size is like the new Samsung S22 Ultras, which are like three in line. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you uh, that right now. So check it out. Um, yeah. Anyways, so comes in this little nice case. It's actually pretty nice. If you get the like OFEC or whatever it's called, like the OFEC case, uh, it's almost the same. But when you open it, the OFEC case has like foam and a couple of different ones. The OFET case also has like a macro lens adapter, which is this is which is cool. Uh, this one is just uh, a clip. So we're gonna go, there's my cat. I got my cookies on deck. Uh, but this is the lens. As you can tell, if you pop it over, uh, it get a little better. But I have read that if you uh, have the camera already running and then you put the lens on, it messes with the white balance. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this on the back and then we'll see how good it is. All right. So now this is with the 15,000K over all three cameras. Um, it's a little better. It's a little better. You can kind of see it's yellowing all around the outside here. Um, and then let's see if we throw on uh, the 20,000 on top of this one. We even get a little bit more clear. Sorry, my, my fingers here, but there we go. Now we got to focus this again. Let me get it. There we go. Now we have both on top of each other, and you can kind of tell that the yellowing uh, over here is a little better. It's a little more clear. So um, I like it, you know, and um, it definitely does help. Um, because if you look at the anemone here, you kind of get a little bit better as far as um, coloring. I don't have much in my tank currently set up for uh, you know any of the blues to pop either right now. But my biggest thing I wanted to be able to do was film a video and not have it be all like blown out. I wanted to be able to get like closer to the rock without the color, like not knowing what to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually pretty pretty juiced about this. Um, see where the cat knocked the box off here, but like I said, this is the Corals Coral XL. Um, if you get it on Amazon, like I said, you'll probably get the XL because it's newer now and the phones have changed. So for the most part, they're going to be, uh, probably throwing these out and 50, it's a 52 millimeter lens. Um, so you can actually probably get adapters or a little micro lens or something like that to get macro stuff. But, um, Yeah. Anyways, went to the fish store a day ago and I picked up some more snails. So I'm at about 20 trochus, um, which is about good size. Obviously, this is a 60-gallon tank. So I wanted to make sure that I was pretty set um, as far as snails go. And um, they had these big old black clowns. They were like 80 a pair. I don't know about you guys, man, but like the local fish stores these days, the prices for things are skyrocketing and it's just, it's getting out of hand, you know, and I'm, I'm all for supporting the local fish shop. So I'm not trying to buy anything online. So I am going there. I buy all my cleanup crews, corals and things like that. But like, man, I'm seeing like 60, $70 for some torches, you know, and uh, I saw they legitimately had a, um, a golden torch which I get it, I get it, but they were asking like $500 for it, and it was like maybe two or three heads. I mean, there comes a point where I'm just like, who's buying that, you know? Like, it's just not, it's not a good time. 
you know what I mean? But even when you're looking online, it's not so great either. But um, yeah, you know, so I've got these. These are like black frostbites, I think they are. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I always kind of remember what they are, but I forget. And then obviously the other ones are just some black and white oscillaris uh, or some false oscillaris. I'm not, I'm not sure either. Um, but I think I'm going to start building this tank out to be maybe close to like a harem tank. I don't know, but they will all be kind of like, you know, uh, special clowns, designer clowns rather. Um, so I'm super, super happy about that, but picked up another anemone back there. Let's see how this lens works, um, with zoom. Uh, it gets a little nasty. So let me, let me go over here. You can kind of tell he's kind of happy back here on the corner. That's one of my conches. Um, and then from this angle, you can kind of tell that anemone's pretty happy. This one though, this one just can't really get it together. It'll open and close all day, but yeah, it's not so bad. Also, the camera's white balance is all weird again, so I don't know what happens. Let's see what happens when we go to all white. Let me come back. That's not so bad. That's a little better. I don't know. Either way. Yeah, I hope, I hope that anemone will be all right. It doesn't seem to be thrown up or doing anything crazy, so it should be good. I was hoping that when it fully expands, because it used to... It used to be like way back here in the corner. I think it's just trying to find a place it really likes to get a good amount of flow and um, just overall a lot of color. But uh, yeah, I still need to get my hands on a wave maker. That'll probably help a lot. Yeah, so I'm probably just going to chill out on uh, the next week here. Just let the tank absorb the bio load of these bigger fish and feeding schedules for those. Um, let me take this off for now. It's actually, it's actually almost a little better without it. I got to figure out how these work. It's my first day with this, but I'll get better. I'll get better. I need to start using my actual camera. I've got like this whole setup here. Don't mind the clutter. I got to clean my desk off to start this next week, but, uh, yeah, I gotta, uh, I could probably use my actual camera, get some way better photos, but this has just been fun using my phone for the most part. But I want to let the tank absorb the bio load. I got 10 more hermits in here. I got the trochid snails. I'm up to like 20. I think I actually ended up with a turbo in there somewhere. So that's really cool. The two and M's they're doing good. Hopefully this guy works his way out. Um, and then I finally put the filter socks in the back of the water box. I've been mean, just kind of letting it cycle and do its thing for the most part. Um, and then sump wise, still basic sump, right? Like we talked about the J Bow uh, return. I got a big bag of matrix, and then I've got just some extra live rock that I had that didn't really go with the scape. Um, so probably the next thing I start to do with this tank is start to upgrade my um, uh, what's it called? Not my. But yeah, probably in the next week or so, I'll start ordering so I can get some more media in here uh, because I just need a uh, way to hold on to a lot more of the bio load. So I think I'm going to fill this compartment uh, with a sponge um, just to get the mechanical uh, bacteria kind of going a little bit here. So I'll fill this whole area with just like a sponge setup. So that way that one's doing pretty well. And then obviously I have the rock and I might throw some cubes or uh, ceramic rings just to get this kind of going here. Uh, the sump comes with an ATO section, so I do need to get that because I, I swear I'm evapping close to like half a gallon a day. And it's just, it's not the business, guys. I'll tell you that much right now. But overall, tank is doing really well for the uh, speedy cycle that we did. Don't want to push it. Like I said, coral's getting expensive, and I kind of don't want to buy like little frags to grow it out. So I might just have to bite the bullet and buy like a a nice frag or something like that to really, really punch it up just to have a little bit more movement. Um, but yeah, until this anemone is pretty happy, I might not keep throwing stuff in there, but you know how it goes. That's not, that's not really how I work with things for the most part. So yeah, that's about it for this one. Quick little short video, but hopefully the next video I'll have a little bit more of an update. But like I said, I'll start working on, uh, I think I'm going to start working on like the sump situation. Got to go through the garage. I might have like a hang on back skimmer i could toss into here because i don't really have a skimmer right now um and go from there but yeah guys thanks for sticking around thanks for uh watching this uh is this is this reefing channel here and uh check you guys out next week later